Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see the working and construction of Hartley Oscillator and frequency of operation of Hartley Oscillator. So let's begin with the topic. Hartley oscillator is nothing but a type of LC oscillator. We know that LC oscillator basically consists of two components that is inductor and capacitor. When the capacitor is fully charged and when switch S is closed, then in case of LC oscillator, the electrical energy stored in capacitor is get converted into the magnetic energy and stored in the inductor by discharging of capacitor. Again, when magnetic field is completely get developed at that time the electrical field across the capacitor becomes zero at this time the counter emf get produced and according to lenz law the counter emf causes again charging of capacitor so this charging and discharging of capacitor and building up and collapsing of magnetic field across inductor causes production of oscillations at the output the LC circuits are further classified into different types of oscillator and they are tune collector oscillator, tune base oscillator, Hartley oscillator, culprit oscillator and clap oscillator. Out of these oscillator, tune collector oscillator, tune based oscillator and Hartley oscillator uses inductive coupling whereas the clap oscillator and culprit oscillator uses capacitive coupling. Now let's see how Hartley oscillator is constructed and how it works. For that purpose we need to consider the circuit diagram first. Now as shown in the diagram the Hartley oscillator circuit consists of LC tank circuit which is also called as tune circuit or tank circuit. These circuits are basically used for generating the radio frequency as a local oscillator. So the L1, L2 forms a, along with capacitor C forms a tank circuit. The coil L1 and L2 are combined or connected with each other and their form, combination forms an auto transformer. The another coil that is RFC called as radio frequency choke coil, it is connected between VCC and collector of the transistor. In this case, the RFC that means radio frequency choke coil blocks AC component and allows only DC component to pass through the circuit. Here the transistor is used in common emitter configuration and it acts as an amplifier. The feedback is provided from LC tank circuit to the base of transistor through a capacitor CB. Now this LC tank circuit provided a feedback network and provides a phase shift of 180 degree because the phase reversal between input and output is achieved as we are taking output or and provide input from opposite ends of L1 and L2. Because of that, the feedback network provides phase shift of 180 degree. Now, in case of feedback network, we need to consider the feedback gain factor that is beta. And here, as two coils are used, the value of beta is given by L2 by L1. Now, the phase shifted 180 degree signal is applied to the base of transistor through a, cap a capacitor CB. Now, when transistor is used as an amplifier, it provides a phase shift of 180 degree additional phase shift. Therefore, the total phase shift around the loop is nothing but 360 degree, which is also equivalent to zero degree. So this satisfied the condition for Barkusen's criteria, that means condition for oscillators. As the transistor is used as an amplifier, therefore, every component having its own application and its own function. The capacitor CC is called as coupling capacitor and it is basically used to couple output from the collector to the tank circuit. So that whenever the collector current flows or whenever the voltage applied across collector, it allows only AC component to pass through the circuit and blocks DC component. So depending upon the circuit gets turned on, that means when VCC gets turns on, the collector voltage gate increases due to which the capacitor C starts charging and it provides alternate formation of electric and magnetic field across capacitor and inductor L1 and L2. Now the capacitor CB is also called as blocking capacitor because it blocks any DC component to reach to the base of the transistor. That means it allows only AC component to pass to the base of transistor. The resistor R1 and R2 along with resistor RE provides DC biasing and stabilization of the amplifier circuit. 
This resistor having important role in providing biasing circuit of the transistor because if the position of Q point is get shifted, if we are not applying a proper bias circuit, then it may possible that the Q point may get shifted either in the upward or downward that means either in saturation or cutoff mode which causes clipping off of positive or negative half cycle and we will get not proper amplified signal at the output. Now in case of oscillator as we are using positive feedback the 180 degree phase shift is provided by transistor as amplifier or additional 180 degree phase shift is provided by LC tank circuit. So the total phase shift around the loop that means between input and output is 0 degree. So in this way by achieving the phase shift of 360 degree or 0 degree we can achieve the function of oscillators. Now let's see what basically the frequency of output of oscillation. The frequency of output of oscillation for Hartley oscillator is given by formula F0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root LC. We know that the value of frequency in case of LC oscillator circuit is inversely proportional to the square root of capacitor value and proportional to the square root of inductor value. That's why the formula becomes 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC. But here as we are using two coils that is L1 and L2 therefore we also need to consider mutual inductors that's why the value of L becomes L1 plus L2 plus 2M if we ignore or if we, or if we neglect the mutual inductance the value of L becomes L1 and plus L2 so in this way we can calculate the frequency based on the component value of inductor and capacitor so this is what about the working of Hartley oscillator and construction of Hartley oscillator so I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.